okay so in this video we'll be talking about derivative of trigonometric functions no? so when we say trigonometric functions so we have uh, these uh, three primary functions so we have sine x no? then cosine x no? so let's just assume that our angle is uh, x no? uh, stands for x and tangent x no so like the algebraic functions so quite trigonometric functions also have uh, their own derivative no so if we are going to get the derivative let's say the derivative of um, sine x so we say that y is equal to sine x no so that will be our function so getting the derivative we will have y plus delta y is equal to sine x plus delta x no? because in this instance we substitute our um, x no? as a function of uh, x delta x no? then as we know so these are this the sum and difference of two angles no? so for this one this is uh, uh, the sum of two angles we could say that this will be sine x cosine delta x plus cosine x sine delta x no then we will uh, solve for delta y no? so delta y will be equal to sine x cosine delta x plus cosine x sine delta x uh, we will be moving y in this side of the equation so it will be minus y and we know that y is equal to sine x so that will become sine x cosine delta x plus cosine x sine delta x minus sine x no so we could group this one here so we could say that that will be equal to sine x cosine delta x plus so we factor out our um uh, we factor out our uh, maybe we could factor out this one no? so we have both the sine x here so let's just write this one so we just group first no? so this will be equal to we first write this one no? so we have cosine x sine delta x then we have plus we write this one so sine x cosine delta x minus sine x so as you can see we we'll put a parenthesis here we group this one so we have a common term which is sine x so we could have that one as cosine x sine delta x plus factor of the sine x so we will have cosine delta x minus one okay so now this will now be equal to our delta y no so from trigonometry so we have here another um another um identity no so we have sine squared say this will be sine squared um sine squared uh, let's say this will be sine squared a no so that is equal to one half 1 minus cosine to a no? so from that one no? so we could say that from this identity so we can say that cosine to a so we transpose our one half here so that would be that, that would be equal to um, let's just see first now that would be equal to uh, 2 sine squared um, a no? 2 sine squared a no? for that um, matter no? or so this will be um, we would uh, be moving also our one to decide the question so that will be minus one no or for other instance no? so we could um, also have um, could also have this one okay 
so if we will be um, having this one so if we will say we will have this one as cosine a so for this one this will be minus 1 so this could be also we could also say that this is um, equal to so this is uh, for example so for example we will be transposing no? okay let's just have this one first okay so we could say for this one no so this is another identity now what if you are going to have this one only as a single function or a single angle not a double angle so we could have this one as uh, sine squared so what will happen is this will be equal to one half now one half a is equal to one half one minus cosine a then transposing this one so then we could have this one as two sine squared one half a is equal to one minus cosine a now examining this term so this will be um this will be equal to cosine no? one minus cosine no? so if you are going to multiply both sides by negative one so we could have two sine squared one half a so this will be equal to cosine a minus one and this will be equal to negative so we could say that if for example let a is equal to delta x so we could have negative 2 sine squared 1 half delta x is equal to cosine delta x minus 1 so we could now substitute this the value of this one which is this term here to the to this um, expression here so we could have that one as um, delta y is equal to cosine x sine delta x plus sine x no? and that, that will be equal to negative 2 sine squared 1 half delta x no? okay then we simplify this one further so we have cosine x so cosine x sine delta x plus oh no it will be minus no minus 2 sine x sine squared one half delta x no okay then we just um, have this one as a limit no? so dy dx that will be equal to delta y that will be limit of our as x approaches to zero so this will be equal to cosine x then this one will be expressed to sine delta x over delta x minus um, 2 sine squared x then we have sine squared 1 half delta x over delta x no? okay and we know that for limits no? of theory of limits so the limit of um, sine x delta x as delta x approaches to zero that is equal to one no okay equal to one and uh, and the limit also of so the limit also of a sine one half delta x so this is equal to zero so those are the special cases of limits no then also the limit of sine one half delta x over one half delta x no for this one 
so this will be equal to 1 so going farther to our limit so we could so this is a group here so we could have this one as limit of cosine x sine delta x over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 so this one here will just be equal to 1 no? uh, minus could be minus sine x no? sine x then we have uh, this is sine squared so we could have that one as sine uh, 1 half delta x over delta x sine so this will be now equal to 1 half no? delta x then sine 1 half delta x no so we have that one okay so cons considering the first one as we know this is limit so this will be equal to one well this one will be equal to one but this one from here we could say this is equal to zero so we have now um the limit okay so we have um that is not the limit now but the only the uh the answer itself so you have cosine x times one minus sine x times 1 times 0 so this will be all equal to 0 and our dy dx which is equal to delta y so this will be equal to this will be delta no i forgot here to put delta delta y over x no? so this will be equal to i write this one clearly no? okay so this will be equal to delta y over delta x so this will be equal to so cosine x times 1 so that would be cosine x so we could say therefore that the derivative of uh, sine x so this else is our y in terms of x is equal to cosine x and also so to go further the derivative of cosine x in terms of x is equal to negative sine x okay okay so i believe that will be all for this video no? so thank you for watching and always enjoy learning